Hi guys, Wacker here. Uh, I'm going to talk about Weather Grimes. Uh, weather Grimes are a brush that you can use to affect the way models move. Now, I've talked about Weather Grimes in a, other videos just as a global entity, so you'd have one box around in your map which is the Weather Grime, and that would influence what happens with the speed of the wind, and it will make your uh, models that have movement in uh, move. Uh, but I'm going to show you some other things that you can do with the weather grimes, especially if you want to get down to individual areas. Uh, so what I was thinking of, say you had a map that started outdoors. Uh, this is not the example of what I'm thinking of, but if you just put picture this. Outside, the wind may be blown and you want the models to move at an increased speed. But once you get indoors, you probably only want the models to move slightly. So you want them to be affected, say, by the air conditioning vents or a fan that's blowing beside them. Now. For the intent of this, I'm going to show you how you can do it just against these two little trees over here in the corner. So, if I go to this uh, mode, uh, we can see here I've got a weather grime here. Now, what I've done, I've done a couple of things here. Um, I've set the wind speed to 50, which is as high as it will go, which is a bit ludicrous, but if you want a hurricane, uh, it's looking good. I've also done something else. Uh, there are colour maps that you can define and they get sort of set by default depending on the skybox. At the moment I have a uh, skybox here which is a snowy sort of alpine look. Um, and so the rocks here, even though it's got sand and looks a bit deserty, are, the rocks are actually sort of snow covered. Now if I have a look, I've actually changed the colour map here to a yellow colour. Uh, just to show you what can happen. So I'm going to press F9 and we're going, to, we're going to go inside this box here and immediately when going inside this box here we can see A the colour map has changed so what was a snow type colour map going on on these rocks has become yellow. I mean you're not going to use this in reality I don't think but you could choose any sort of a grassy map or whatever green, grey, whatever you want it to be you can adjust the way the rocks look in this model. Uh, you'll also notice is this tree is waving around quite madly in fact it's having a fit if you ask me now if we um, if we move along and we're going to go into another weather map you'll notice the rock colors changed again and it's more in fitting with the sort of uh, deserty atmosphere I've, uh, and this tree here is moving ever so slightly so if I back out press F9 there's my weather grime. You'll see I've changed this, the uh, colour map to this black specular. Uh, I just picked one at random. And the wind speed is only 7. Hence you get that small move. Now to show you the wind speed cranking up we could go up to 25 for example. That's quite a nice breezy day. And just like the other one we can start getting the gale force. You can also uh, change the yaw and the pitch direction of the wind so it will affect the uh, elements in a different way. Um, you can of course just be you know knock off a standard weather grime and have a standard box. I'm not sure if I've got one on here. Don't think I have. I'm only messing around with this at the moment. Um, but it is a very useful tool and I would recommend you look at this. If you're doing an indoor map and then you start planting uh, so uh, you know we, we put a potted plant inside a room you don't want the potted plant to move at a million miles an hour if you want the even though the bushes outside or trees outside might be uh, and I think it's just quite a nice way to do it. It also allows you to uh, change the colors on certain models that interact with it so I've chosen this rock model for an example so here it is picking up uh, what I assume it just picks up the setting from the uh, skybox which would make sense I need to double check that but we can manipulate it with the weather grime and I've changed it to yellow so if I come out uh, let's try something else let's see what else we've got as a choice um, what have we got looking for something interesting scroll through there must be something interesting I can use here yeah, let's try the metal out let's see what happens here okay so it has got a sort of strange grime 
uh, colour, which was. Let's just see if we can drag this out so we can see which one we used. Yeah, so metal, it's got a metallic you know, look to it. It's quite useful. Um, but weather grimes are going to be invaluable when you're making your map. Uh, by default, you might just have one weather grime, you might just have an outdoor map, so your, your box will be the whole circumference of your map. So you just drag it around the whole of your map. Uh, and that was it really with volume weather grimes. That's just a quick delve into it. I thought we'd show that little bit off. Um, I will show it off properly once I've got a, a map that's in progress properly, but just in this little test construct, it gives you an idea of what one can do. Cheers for now, guys. Bye.